The most important step in the installation process is to check the steel for proper alignment before hanging the panels. Again, check the steel for proper alignment before hanging the panels. The first step involves attaching mending plates, or trim pieces, with pop rivets at every double stud location. This is where the vertical joints occur when using horizontal panels. A chalk line is used to establish the proper starting point for attaching the base support extrusion. Butyl sealant is then applied to the vertical leg of the stud track. This will seal the stud track to the back of the base support extrusion. Note the sealant gaps at the mending plate locations. Urethane sealant is then applied at the slab edge to seal between the concrete and the base extrusion. Again, note the sealant gaps at the mending plate locations. The base extrusion is now set in place and attached with flat head fasteners. Please note the gaps in the extrusion at the vertical mending plates. These gaps allow any water that enters into the vertical joint area to freely drain out at the base of the wall. The first panel receives butyl sealant in both female panel joints, providing a double barrier wall system. Vertical lines of butyl sealant are added to the mending plate. This provides a weather seal from the back of the panel to the mending plate. The panel is then set onto the base support, aligned and secured in place with clips and fasteners through the top male legs of the panel. The amount of fasteners and clip spacing may vary from job to job depending on the engineering requirements. The next panel along the bottom row is prepared in the same way, with butyl sealant added to both female joints. It is placed on the base extrusion and aligned to provide proper vertical reveal and secured in place. Marriage beads of butyl sealant are applied to connect the mending plate sealant and the panel joint at the top edge of the panel. This provides continuity of the air, vapor, and water control layers. The same process is repeated along the perimeter of the building. In this animation, the vertical columns of panels are installed from the bottom up, working along the elevation until completed. For integrated window systems, the windows are installed prior to the panels on each side of the opening, as shown in the video. It is also possible to complete the installation of the panels one elevation at a time, in either case, the bottom row of panels is critical to the vertical joint locations, which are often designed to align with windows and doors. The corner panels are now ready to be installed. Butyl sealant is added to both female panel joints and to the mending plates at those locations. The panel is then set in place and attached with clips and fasteners. Corner panels may be added first as control points after completion of each elevation, or after all elevations are completed, it is up to the discretion of the installing contractor to determine when the corner panels are installed. Marriage beads of butyl sealant are applied to connect the mending plate sealant with panel joints at the top edge of the panel. The process is then repeated at all corner locations. The final step includes completing the vertical joint assembly. First, four pound density mineral wool is inserted, providing insulation and a stop for the EPDM gasket that follows. Next, urethane sealant is applied along the edges of the trimless ends in order to hold the EPDM gasket in place, followed by the EPDM gasket itself. 